How are you today? I'm Mark. Are you ready? I hope so. I'm about to start a new English lesson. Politicians were on the brink of calling new elections. They are due to open a new business in town. Keith is bound to flunk math. The manager is looking to end the dispute with her employee. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the most famous verb in English. The verb to be plus an expression. So stay tuned. Great. Let me remind you first that I got a lot of lessons on the verb to be. If you wish to watch all those lessons, you may click here. Now, in this lesson, I've decided to talk about the verb to be with an expression to indicate a future intention. So let's start with the first expression, be plus about to, to indicate an immediate future. My example was, I'm about to start a new English lesson. It's like saying, I'm just starting a new English lesson. We can also have other expressions to mean the same thing. For example, politicians were on a brink of calling new elections. So here we have the expression to be plus on the brink of plus ing, plus a verb with an ing to refer to something important. So another expression could be she is on the point of madness. So to be on the point of. So we have a, an ing verb or in this case a noun madness. So she is on the point of madness. She's about to. She's is an immediate future. This is what it means. Even though these expressions are used to refer to the future, you can even use it in the past. Like my example, my last example, Africans were on the verge of revolution. Here we have the verb to be plus on the verge of, which means be about to. So it's the same thing. So Africans were on the verge of revolution. And we can even use the verb uh, plus an ing after of, right? So we have the second expression that I chose to talk about in this lesson and be plus due to or set to plus verb. So let's take a look at the example. They are due to open a new business in town. So this means they are expected to open a new business in town. So they are, they are due to, due to. So they are expected to. Another example, she's set to be the leader of the firm soon. So she's set to be the leader of the firm soon. So we have the verb to be plus set to plus the verb, and in this case, be the leader of the firm soon. She's ready to be the leader of the firm soon. Then another expression that I chose to talk about is to be bound or sure to plus verb. Bound, it means to be destined. This is what it means. And sure, you know what sure means, right? So Keith is bound to, Keith is bound to, and then we have a verb here without ing, to flunk, so to fail, math. Math is the subject, math, um, English, etc. Geometry, and in this case, I chose to talk about math because I'm not good at math at all. So Keith is destined to fail or flunk math. So we have another example. I was sure to meet her at the library. This means it was likely I met her at the library, but it didn't happen, for example, right? So I was sure to be sure to meet, in this case, uh, a verb without ing, just a verb, a base of the verb, to meet her at the library. Another expression, be plus looking to plus verb. So, the manager is looking to end the dispute with her employee. It means she's planning to end the dispute with her employee. And the last example for this um, expression, 
the government is looking to create new jobs. So the government is looking to create new jobs, is planning to create new jobs. So let me erase this and I'll be back with another expression. I'm back with the last expression. I'm aiming to satisfy my students with my lessons. This means I intend to satisfy my students with my lessons. Now, can you complete this sentence? The Italian president make a speech on the upcoming elections. So write your answer under this video. So that's it for today. If you have any comments or requests, type them also under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Having said that, thank you very much for watching. See you next week with a new English lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.